just started the just started the stream out to people and we'll get the show started <laughs> glitches are for bitches and glitches leaving stitches And welcome everybody to the stream. And can you hear me, folks? Hey, hello, how's it going? Can anyone hear me? Or do I have to switch mics again? And can you hear me, folks? Hey, hello, how's it going? Okay, I see that the mic is working. Cool. And we'll get going. We. All right. So do I'll quit doing. Mic? I'll quit doing. I'll quit asking then. And we got two people watching. Hello out there. Hello Evie and the other person. Oh wait, the other person's me. Well, thank you to me for watching. Thank you for me for describing. Of course, I am the wild-eyed yeti and your host with the most, with the coccyx to boast. The rhyme is the crime. Okay, enough of this, and we got to get this show going, folks. And we are done, and let us go, folks. And let us get started. We got some, we got, we got some new uh, characters on. We got some new, quite a few new people on our roster, and we're gonna get this going. And ladies and gentlemen, look, the stream is. And the streaming gods have been nice to me so far. And let us get started. We got some new we got we got some new uh, characters on we got some new quite a few new people on our roster and we're gonna get this going and they gentlemen look the stream is and the streaming gods have been nice to me so far. Hey, how's it going, Zerk? Oh, because I'm not talking. <laughs> I was not. <laughs> Hello, was not talking. Was. Let's get this ready for. Then we're gonna debut this first superstar. We're just not no random order. We got plenty of people to debut before we start universe mode on our next show. Still work. Still working on tags and all that stuff. Oh, that's, the weird echo is myself. Let me turn this off. Let me turn off, let me turn this off the phone. Okay, that echo is gone. Yes, I, I, tur I had the, I had it streaming on my phone. Just to see if I, just to hear myself, because. 
Oh yeah, that was the phone. I had I had the uh, had it on my phone. That's what the word echoes you get. You shouldn't have it now. I do repeat myself a lot. Yes, I'm watching my stream, watching my chat. Yes, I like to I like to hear my own voice, my own dulcet tones, because when you're this good at what I do, you have to quit rambling before I get. Okay, here we go, folks. The stream is live. I'm live. Let's get this. Let's get this slobber knocker on the road. Enough talking. Enough balking. Let's get this going. Okay, let's go for our first match. I want to see this guy. Custom superstars. And here's a new ch Billy Rod. We're gonna in no particular order. I'm gonna. We'll be fighting. Here's one of our new, one of our newer, one of our newer chicks. We got Billy Rotten. I'm gonna find out more about this chick, but she was brought in to the circus to fit in with our freaks, geeks, and oddities. Looks a little scary here, and she'll be taking on the other new female superstar. As soon as I figure out this control. And why not? Let's get on. Let's get uh, custom. Custom. And these two. And let's go Emily Doom, folks. Yes, Billy Rotten versus Emily Doom should be one hell of a stream here, folks. And yes, folks, we we're able to uh, we we're able to add it with the with the new patch 1.03. We we're able to add some more some more textures to our uh, to our wrestlers. So now they're in their full wrestling look, folks. This is how they're supposed to look for the circus, folks. All made up and ready to go. And ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be an interesting matchup between these two individuals, folks. Of course, we know Emily Doom is the daughter of Zoe Doom. Yeah, we got her. Yes, we got Mila Sorte. We're getting the other one. She'll be debuting too. And I believe Mala and uh, Mala Sorte and uh, Billy Rotten. We'll be a tag team in the circus, folks. The following oh, look at this. Is scheduled for one fall. Yes. Making yes, we know Emily and Zoe are sisters. From your darkest fears. But we'll be having Mala and... Uh, Big time singles matches on deck here in Byron. Yes, Mala and uh, Billy will be ta will be tag team partners, folks. That will be our other female tag team. Maybe starting their own little faction here, folks. But you can tell this is one crazy bitch here, folks. Look at bringing a chair to the ring, folks. Just we got. And here we go, having having a great time here, folks. It's going to be interesting how this bridge goes on, ladies and gentlemen. The one, the only one half of the of the Doom Sisters, but they're not the Doom Sisters. They're the Su they are sisters, folks, twin sisters, folks. And here is one of the one of the twins, Emily Doom, also known as Graveyard Girl. And let's see if they fix that entrance. Oh, it looks like they did. Does the does the lantern disappear? Oh, look, and and look, it looks like the... Oh, nope, I was wrong. I thought they fixed the glitch. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping they fixed the lantern glitch and some of the object glitches, but, of course, we don't know if those will ever be fixed. Dang it. Proved me a liar. Damn you. Damn you. Damn you, visual concepts. Got all my hopes up. And now I'm just down. Aww. <laughs> Anyways, it's one of those things I thought was, would happen, you know. But apparently, uh, welcome to Glitch City. 
as I say, we're going to recall this the Glitch Dome. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are at Glitchamania. What you going to do when the glitches run wild all over you? Nothing, brother. Nothing. <laughs> so anyways. Awesome entrance for Emily. If we fix it. And no, they did not fix the other superstar still standing in the ring. Actually, I kind of like it. It's kind of neat. But. This doesn't make sense. This right here, I don't know why they did not fix this right away. But then again, they were rushed to make this game, I can tell. And uh, Emily staring at Billy in the back of the head. And let's get this match, match going, folks. We got... We got a whole host full of wrestlers wanting to at the at in the locker room ready to make their debut. Now em, oh Billy going after after Emily. Emily catching that kick and now ooh, a drop kick by Emily. This has all the makings of an epic match. They fi fix it in a break in till the game goes a shaking. <laughs> going, yes. They fix and they break. They don't know. Oh look at that that ooh that super that that super kick to the chin of Emily. This could be a rival faction for the Suicide Club here with these two new individuals, Mala Muerte and and Billy Rotten. Now going up. Oh my gosh, that that insecurity right to the face of Emily and now Emily coming back. Now taking Billy by with a swinging neck breaker. I like the looks on these uh, girls. At least they gotta go. Oh, that running, flying form to the face of Emily. And now going up and now kicking her up. Oh, is she going for it? Going for it. that hurt, Verona, folks. Yep. Here we go. Now looking up, staring, staring her down, picking her up. Ooh, setting her up for that big suplex, folks. I call it a giant suplex. Now going up, now taking her up, and now twisting the neck of Emily. Emily, not not sure what to make make of the of the Billy Rotten. I believe the Suicide Club could be in trouble with the Billy Rotten and Mala Morte, folks. Mala Morte, and going for the pin. One, two, and a big two count. And now look at this. It's interesting that these rivalries that are forming up between the here in the circus in 2K20. And now going for a pin. One. Oh, you got oh you got Disney Plus. Did you get it for free? <laughs> yes, I got Disney Plus for free for one year. Then it's 25 bucks. There we go. <laughs> and now look at this. Now making a comeback here is Emily. It's the one thing you don't count out is 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 the is any of the Doom sisters, folks. If you have Verizon, some of the carriers give it for free for a year. Since I have Verizon, I I got it free uh, one year free. Other than that, it's six ninety nine a month. Like I said, depends on your phone carrier. Oh, look at this, that big drop kick. Yep, so you have Verizon too, cool. And now going up. And now look at this, holy shit. Man, ooh, my, ooh, brought her in the hard way with that RKO off the, t off the middle rope, folks. Emily's not messing around. Oh yes, they have all the Marvel, they have all the Marvel shit, all the Marvel movies. And some of the Disney movies that you may like. And some good series. Oh, look at this. A straight punch to the face to, to Billy. Emily taking control of this match. Going up with that backbreaker. And look at this. Oh, that 
Oh, that's that that spinning spine buster. Holy shit, just laid out Billy. Now going for the tag. This could be one. And now look at this. And all the Pixar movies too, I believe. And now rolling them up. And now Emily saying this is over. Oh, and out on the mat and Emily going after this. Oh, putting a boot to her. Look at this, pushing in. Oh, stomping her, stomping, stomping her right in the sternum. Putting her down, rolling over Emily. Smells blood. And now going up. Oh, that devastating backbreaker. Now stopping her. Now Billy rolls out of the way. Runs in with a hurricanrana. And now picking her up. <laughs> and now going up. Uh, Luthes Press. Punching Billy right in the face. Trying to smear that face paint. And oh, Emily going crazy, folks. Just punching at the ropes. Now going up. And now picking her up. Holy shit. RKO. RKO, folks. And now... She's got her pin. This could be it. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, Emily Doom, the winner. Holy shit. Emily had a great match there. Had a little tough go there. But they but but Billy making an impressive impression here. Not but unfortunately didn't secure a win. But gave Emily Doom a run for her money, folks. Big power slam here. You better watch out for this new faction. I don't know who they are. But they could be a rival faction for the Suicide Club, folks. Yes, Emily, hard-fought win there. And ladies and gentlemen, that's when you he enter here in the underground circus. Don't take anyone lightly that you come that you're in the ring against. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Emily Doom. Welcome back. And we're going to showcase all our superstars in their in their full glory as they, as they were meant to be seen. And Emily with an impressive win. Awesome look for Emily, folks. It was cool that we were able to add the face makeup and air, the, the face paint and makeup and, the, and all the tattoos. And ladies and gentlemen, let's go on. Let's go on to our next match. And we're going to bring on Zoe Doom versus Mala Morte. And we're going to... Yeah, any multi-matches uh, multi, uh, or multi-tag team matches, they seem to crash, so... Let's get Zoe. Let's get Mala. Oh, I had a oh, you think I had a cocaine animal? Why? Because I'm so. Uh, I actually got some sleep. So when I get some sleep, I'm actually kind of uh, an annoying little. I'm kind of annoyingly uh, energetic when I'm uh, when I get a lot of sleep. And here we go. We're going on, folks, for another another debut. We're going to see all, like I said, we're going to see, we're already seeing, uh, I want to see Mala Marte. No, I haven't fixed his name yet. Oops. Oh, mala no, suerte, mala suerte. We'll be taking on the one, the only, Zoe Doom. And there we go. I did download the new ones. Oh, yes, I got King Kaka. I have him. Yes, I have it. I have him. I, I have King Kaka, Evie. He will be fighting. Um, he'll be fighting next. He'll be fighting me next because I'm going to have. I'll have Yeti versus King Kaka. 
And ladies and gentlemen, we got Mala Suerte versus Zoe Doom Extreme Rules. Yeah, I forgot the other. I forgot to delete the other Kaka. I could turn him into the Kaka Kid. He could be like his. He could be like a tag team partner. You could have the Kaka Doors, the Lucha Kaka Doors, Evie. <laughs> Lucha Kaka Libre. <laughs> And here we go. Oh, I like the look on this one, folks. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making her way to the ring from Bogota, Colombia. The X-Factor. Oh, my God. Look at this, folks. She looks pretty badass here. You better, she better going to cut you. Bled in, bled out. This lady, she's going to cut you, bitch. You better not mess with. You better not mess with. Uh, with Marla Suerte, be a bit of bad luck. I think she's gonna sue me because she's Colombian, and uh, not Mexican. Holy shit! I'm gonna say that I don't know the difference between the his, between the lat, between the South American culture, and ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The one, the only, Zoe Doom. I mean, I'm liking the new, I'm liking the, the look for Zoe, folks. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, that's from those from the that's from the thunderous thighs she has. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, so what do you think of that, Evie? We could have the cockadors or lucha caca. I'm gonna, I don't know. I was just thinking of keeping the two cockas. I don't know. I might delete the other one. And ladies and gentlemen, if you one crazed individual, one crazy individual here, folks, a bit of a pyromaniac, a bit of a a person that does love to build bombs and blow them, well, build bombs to blow things up, likes to build traps and all kinds of deadly contraptions. Mainly to, mainly it's to take out her take out her, one of her uncles she says I don't know which uncle she means <laughs> oh I will and from Las Vegas, Nevada, the yeah I was just thinking and has an ego almost as big as her mother's folks is uh, Zoe <laughs> oh we could do that that'd be why we don't have to wait I think it'd be a good little, uh, I think it'd be a good little addition. Yes, that's, I mean. Well, that's what I was thinking. We could have, like, I don't know if we call them the, <laughs> the Holy Caucus. Could we call them the Holy Caucus or something like that? The Holy Caucus would be funny. Something like, or, uh, like, Lucha Caca. I'm not sure. Or Caca Libre. And if you look at Zoe. Very proud. Very proud. Um, very proud and egotistical young lady folks. And like I said. Don't. And like, with, like I say with any. Care, with any wrestler here. Don't let her bizarre antics fool you, folks. Because once they, once once the bell rings, you got a very de got a very formidable opponent here in Emily. I mean, in Zoe Doom, little Boom Six Six Six. Yes, and that's right. It seems like Marla Suerte ain't too impressed with Zoe. Well, you better get that lackadaisical look off your face, and because Marla, you're in for a fight. Yes. And here we are, off, folks. Starting off the match, and now Zoe laying down the pain, but gets caught into an arm drag. And now, look at this. Well, Marla Suerte may be a little bad luck for Zoe. 
now going up and now picking her up. Double under, oh, got her up, folks. Slams her down face first. And now kicking her right in the right in the middle of the back, folks. Going after Zoe. Zoe he has a little bit of trouble. And now an elbow on top of the on top of the cranium. Picking her up and going for that neck breaker. Now going for the securing the pin. One. And only a one count. So we better wake up and get in this match. He's in for a fight, folks. And now putting the boots to the midsection. Oh, float over. DDT and reversal. Oh, the cockiness of Marla, folks. Marla Suerte bringing in her friend Billy Dumanel, driving the elbows in. Zoe could be in trouble, folks. A big overhand slap. And now punching Zoe down, putting her down, putting the boots down to her. Looks like the Suicide Club may have some competition, folks, here with this faction that's forming. Picking her up. And now he's got her up. And now picking up an hour reversal by Zoe. Now Zoe finally getting into this match. Sometimes you get caught off guard when you fight an opponent you've never fought before. Irish whip into a turnbuckle. Oh, a big back body drop, and now Zoe leaping back into action. Oh, gets her with the sling blade and drops the big elbow. Not done yet. Now Zoe bringing in. Going hammer time, folks. Rolling out of the way. Zoe still has that hammer. I'd hit her right over the head. Zoe trying to figure out what she's going to do here. And, lean, and now punching her. We don't. And now coming back in the ring. And now missing with the hammer throw. Now grabbing the hammer from Zoe and driving it straight into. The midsection of Zoe pushing Zoe off. Zoe got, getting Zoe by the neck again. Trying to wear her down. Pushing her off. Now picking her again. Looks like getting Zoe giving her, giving a Marla, I mean, Marla Suerte a little head. And now going over here, picking her up, and now Zoe. Now looks like we're stuck here now. Okay. Looks like we're stuck here in a little uh, glitch here, folks. We're in the feeling out process here. Yes, yeah, so they're feel, the yes, filling each other control. out, but we need to get this match on the way. Come on. If I have to restart this match, I will. Now Zoe finally, and with a reversal, pushes off the drop kick, picks Zoe up, and hands her off with a big backbreaker. Marlo Sorte. So is it Sorte or Sorte? Oh, I don't know. My Spanish is no good. I can only speak broken English. Oh, that big super kick. Now going up, well, going up, and Zoe in trouble, folks. As She's perched on the match and now just uh, pr changes her mind. I would have went for it. And now, oh, going for that big slap. And now kicking her. Oh, the viciousness. And now picking up that, oh, picking up that hammer, pounding down Zoe. Now calling for it. This could be it for Zoe. Zoe's in trouble, folks. Going up and now taking her down with that spear. Little lackluster spear. Wasn't impressed with that spear, but this could do it. One, two, and a big kick out by Zoe. I think Marlon Storte is in control of this match so far. Picking her up. He's got her up. And, oh, just dropped her on her head. Holy shit. This could be it, folks. Zoe could be out cold. Yes, it was a weird match on the winner of this match. Was Mala Sorte. Very weird match, very weird glitches. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have. Something think the Suicide Club has something to worry with uh with Mala Sorte. A little bad luck coming your way, folks. Guess we'll fit yeah, that was a weird match. And congratulations on your debut win, Marla Sorte. Like
extremely impressive win. Little, little, little arrogant little bitch, I believe. <laughs> yes, I. I know she need, but it looks like <laughs> I know. <laughs> but it looks like she took out Zoe. Looked like she packed on a few pounds just for the match. We're gonna go extreme rules again. We're gonna go King Kaka. Oh, I know. She's pretty close. Where's King Kaka? There you go. King Kaka. Oh, why not? Let's bring it. <laughs> oh, I mean, King Corn Kaka. Sorry. I... Don't have my glasses on. King Corn Kaka, folks, and ladies and gentlemen, here you go. And, the, uh, and King Corn Kaka came out of the the butthole of Randy Marsh, folks. One of those Kakas got loose. Could be an offspring. Could be an offspring between Randy Marsh and Mr. Hanky Poo. Who knows, folks? All I know is that he slipped out of the he slipped out of the out of the out of the fudge factory of Randy Marsh. Grew up into be one big king corn caca, folks. And where's that Yeti? Yes. gentlemen gonna test this out and see if this is any good shit for my for my company folks just kind of weird that this corn's flying around and ladies and gentlemen no one wanted to wrestle this no one wanted to wrestle king corn caca in his debut match so i have to do, i have to put this i have to put this uh, piece of this piece of shit uh to the test folks see if he's worthy of the uh, underground circus folks. Uh, the stuff I have to do for you to entertain you folks. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Wonder if you can hit that like button, hit that dislike button, hit hit the belly button. But if you like what you see, new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. It's not it's not required. Where is that ladies and gentlemen? Holy shit, folks. I am going to make sure that I am worried. The following contest is an extreme rules match. Don't know where. Making his way to the ring from the other side of darkness. Now, the other side of darkness was Randy Martin's ass. The living legend. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. What do you mean, little brown? He's a big brown. He's a big, big pos, folks. I'm gonna slap. I'm gonna kick the. I'm gonna kick the little. I'm gonna kick the shit out of this guy. This guy here. Oh my god. Just squirming around like a little piece of cock out of Ooh. I know, I know it is. You're right, Evie. So you're trying to say that they mo both came out of Randy Marsh's asshole? Wow. What a revelation there, folks. And now coming to the ring. Yes. The one. The only. You got it. You can't hustle this muscle. The one. The only. Wild Eyed Yeti. I'm Slim Trim. Ready 
to kick everybody in the never mind. Yes, Mike Cox is rocks it, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna beat this shit right now. I'm gonna grab the shit, fling the shit around, and take and fling the poo around this ring, folks. A lot of shit's gonna go down in this matchup, folks. Hope you're ready, folks. Liberty certainly seems to be showing more pride of late, wouldn't you say? I will, Michael, but he's got to be careful. And Lord, what do I have to do, folks? Everything, I have to wrestle another piece of shit wrestler, folks. I do like that look that he put up for Yeti in the entrance. This entrance here, I do like the look. It looks like he's, it looks like he's like being troll. I just like that. Oh my god, that oh my god, look that frustrating look here. I have to go again. Oh, the things I have to do. Oh shit, I I'm giving Evie a big hug after this match. And now going after Yeti. Holy shit, that that big sh Kakarana, the uh, the Kakarana on Wild Eyed Yeti. Now he's got it up and now Yeti gasping for breath. Can't stand the smell of the caca. And oh my god, that corn, undigested corn, just sticking to King. Never underestimate the caca now. Punching Yeti in the match. And now Yeti, not too happy with that. And putting a knee and a big axe handle stomping this shit down, folks. Now it picks up King Corn Caca. This is an Extreme Rules match. Shit can go down anywhere. And now going up, somebody flush this guy, this little guy. Now slinging Yeti to the ring. Looks like Yeti's getting the shit beat out of him by Lord Corn Caca. Now a little flip roll over to a stomp. Holy shit, Yeti. Without a doubt, this is a volatile situation. And King Corn Caca a little frustrated. Don't know why he's frustrated. He's kicking the shit out of me. Now Yeti going after Corn Caca. Ooh, just uh, toss him right into the ring post, folks. Now Yeti getting up. He's got it in. Now slam him face first in the Kumpa. Oh, yes. Showing off my Kaka Karate. How do you like my Kaka Karate? And now going a little silly. Now there's that little jumping up. Holy shit. Look at that pop up her Karana on Waddle Yet now. Taking him down with that clothesline. Yeti here in trouble, folks. Now flipping him. Oh, oh. Now Yeti jumping up, getting back into action, folks. And now going after him, taking, going after the, after King Corncocka, King Corncocka punching Yeti in the mat, in the stream. Now picking Yeti up. Oh, got him in that, got him in that. Oh, my God. Yeti's in trouble, folks. Very in trouble. Very, very in trouble. I've never seen Yeti getting beaten this easily, folks. And now a little 619 action. Yeti, he's stumbling. He's mumbling. He's going to take a tumbling. And ladies and gentlemen, going up. Oh, a, a springboard knee to the face of Wild Eyed Yeti. Wild Eyed Yeti needs to somehow make a comeback in this match. He's getting his coccyx handed to him. Now, hick him the leg. One. No, it, I thought it was over, folks, but Yeti still has. Some fight left in him. Picking him up and now Wild Eyed Yeti going to boot. Oh my gosh. RKO. Just in the face of Yeti, but didn't go for the pin. Look, Yeti seems out now, chopping Yeti. Oh, that Larry Yet just sent Yeti spinning on his back. It's over, folks. One. And Yeti kicks out. Somehow, can Yeti turn this around? This King Corn Caca is making a mockery of wild-eyed Yeti, the owner of the Underground Circus, folks. Yeti, he's stumbling. He's mumbling. He just got a shitty humbling. Now Yeti with, holy shit, that pop-up RKO, just taking Yeti down. That mean little bass now putting the knees, the strikes, the elbows, chopping down Yeti like a big oak tree. Now going for the pin. This should be it, folks. Two. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match, 
King Corn Kaga. And ladies and gentlemen, excuse me while I go take a shower and get this shit off me. This was another great moment. Holy shit, that that clothesline just sent Yeti spinning and put lights out. I thought that put Yeti's lights out, but the whole match was dominate, dominated by King Corn Kaka, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, you better watch out for the King Corn Kaka, folks. Looks Here like. Is your winner, <laughs> the living legend, <laughs> Come on, Evie. Come over here. Let me give you a hug. Let me give you a big hug. I need a hug, Evie. Come over here. Where are you running to? Uh, well, not not too good for me, folks, but a but a very great debut for King Corn Kaka. We're gonna go extreme rules again. Billy Rock. No, we're gonna bring up. Surrey Bloodyard. Oops, no. Let's see the new Surrey Bloodyard. Yes, I'm liking the look of Siri. That new, uh, the new uh, gra new graphics and tattoos to really make it make the make the character pop. And she'll be taking on one of my creations. Let's uh, put on something. So uh, here we go. I know who would take on. Um, let's see. Who am I going to get? I know. <laughs> here we got Jeannie Simmons. And anyways, this is one I'm working on. So we're gonna have Siri go up against uh, one of one I just created about a about a few hours ago. Jeannie Simmons, a former groupie, well, a still a groupie of Kiss, folks, and a big at one time did have an affair with Gene Simmons. Still sporting the. So what? So what do you got? So what do you think of Jeannie Simmons? Yes, she's a Kiss groupie, still following Gene Simmons around, still trying to sleep with him. She's seventy years old, same age as Gene Simmons. Can you imagine uh, now? Gene Simmons trying to get away from this psycho stalker, folks. <laughs> now making your way to the ring. Making her way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, the Destroyer. Guys, this match is sure to not disappoint, especially considering who's involved here tonight. <laughs> I just thought that was a. Well, I was playing around. I had that. Uh, I had that uh, Gene Simmons face paint, you know. Uh, so I started playing around with the car, and it just it came together pretty cool.
Now I'm always looking to how, you know, when you're a rock star and you're starting out, all the young girls you sleep with. So 50 years later, the same girls, the same groupies you slept with are probably like, uh, probably not, you know, uh, look like grandmas and that. You know, so. While they're still chasing uh, 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 girls that could be their granddaughters. Oh, and look, that one glitch. Oh, look, the glitch. And look, that that glitch still holds up. For and look, that <laughs> it looks. <laughs> oh, look at this. And look, we still have that uh, face page glitch. Well, it's not. Now look at this. It doesn't. It doesn't show. It doesn't show up. Uh, look. If you notice, uh, the it didn't show up. Uh, the, the little uh, face paint. Tough situation to be in right here. In matches like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly get extreme. And here we go, Blake, going after now, punching her. Now picking up Jeannie Simmons. Beautiful. So he hit her so hard, it slapped her face paint off. Both of these competitors have so much resolve. And Gene and drag. I kind of like, I like that. <laughs> or uh, G or Gene Simmons had a had a sex change like Bruce Jenner, but he, but his ego so bi so big, he he just kept his name Gene Simmons, just called himself Genie. Oh, big back suplex by Genie Simmons. Going against Surrey Bloodyard. Now Surrey going after Dini Simmons. In this match. And and now, oh, a basement DDT. Look at this relentlessness of Surrey, folks. Not letting, not letting Genie get that, get a weapon. Revert to a spinning kick. And now. <laughs> You know, I'll tell you, she's one of the most talented him. women superstars I've ever seen here in WWE. Monsign oh, yes. Oh, yes, that is Juan Cena. Oh, look at this. Just the viciousness of Jeannie Simmons, folks. Very impressed with this uh, individual here, folks. And now look at this. A rake of the eyes, but Jeez. Surrey pushing, up, pushing away that drop kick. And... This doesn't look good, guys. Oh, pumped her face first. Now Surrey taking Jeannie Simmons and throwing her across the ring now. Throwing her back in the ring. Going back in the ring and now Surrey going. Oh, but getting a boot to the head. And now a big another boot by Jeannie Simmons. She's leaving the ring. What's gonna happen now? Now look at this Surrey down. Now Surrey getting back to her feet. Now bring it in the chair, and Surrey stomping the chair out of Jeannie's hand. Now uh, a neck, a neck, a neck breaker. Now two kick, two boots to the side of the head. Now Surrey gets back up. Surrey in trouble. Now going up, and now slapping her. Now slapping her bow, driving the shoulders into Surrey, picking Surrey up, and now bam. Dropping her down, but now putting the boots to her. Now can Surrey make it come back here, folks? Arm drag. Pick up that chair, Surrey. Oh, and a discus punch taking down Jeannie Simmons. Now picking her up, folks. And now, oh, just just slap her in the gut. I throwing her over the top rope. Great women's action here in WWE. Now picking her up with a big drop kick. To Surrey. Oh, we're gonna have to get. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm telling you, 
I don't know if, if uh, Jeannie Sims is going to be part of that new faction that's going after the Suicide Club, folks. That's part of Billy Rotten, Jeannie Simmons, and Marla Suarte. Kind of a kind of a surprise there, folks. Man, now, great oh, man. now right trying to the break the arm of series, Jeannie elbow. Simmons. We better get a gender check on Jeannie uh -oh, Simmons, move. folks. I'm not sure that she was born a female. Suri rolling out of the so way and going up. Yeah, but it's got to just be a matter of time before she gets picked off here. Now a big drop kick right here, folks. Bam in her hand. The relentlessness of Jeannie Simmons. Folks. Holy shit, this chick is a monster, but Suri's back up. Can't she make a drop? Oh, gets her with that sling blade. Drops the elbow on it. On the sternum of Jeannie Simmons. Pick up that chair, Suri. Beat the shit out of her. And Suri going at putting that chair up. I would have hit her with the chair. Looks like Suri's gonna send her head for face first into that chair. A little beauty treatment. Those whaps her into the top protocol. Now Suri going all Evie Bloodyard on. On Jeannie Simmons. Now picking him now, going for the pin. One, two, and a big kick out at two. I thought she knocked her out of here, folks. Picking her up. Come on, Suri, throw her into that steel chair. And, yes, she did. Head first in that steel chair, putting her out. I know, it looks like I woke that big monster lady up, folks. As she, and now Suri, oh, big belly to belly. Come on, Suri, now going for the pin. One. Two, three, ladies and gentlemen, Jeannie Simmons, the winner, folks. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. Check this out. She's taking care of business. Man, what a dramatic victory there for Jeannie Simmons. Boo. Continue. I'm not sure that's a good thing. She continues to impress with the win here tonight. You can bet there's going to be a celebration tonight. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing contest that was. And ladies and gentlemen, let's get going. We still have more matches going on, folks. Is it? Oh, we're going to go see. If... Oh, yeah, Juan Cena. <laughs> I think I saw that one, too. I was just reading that. I'll have to go look for it. We can make our own anyways. And we're going to go normal match. We're going to go extreme rules. Let's, let us get going. We got the debut of Katie Nevermore. Like this look for Katie Nevermore, folks. Yes, the daughter of Fre of Raven, folks. It said that, and um, Larry, uh, Pink Eye Larry, claiming that he is the real father of Katie. Not sure. We're gonna have to do a DNA test for that, folks. And. And Katie Nevermore will be taking on Yes, lady. Um here we go. Eva K Bloodyard folks. So E
So we're going to see a nice matchup that Evie's going to test out Katie Nevermore, folks. Going to be a real fun matchup here, folks. So er hope everyone is enjoying the stream. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the debut of Fred Star. We'll be taking on Daniel Star, folks. And we heard that they they have quite a rivalry going on, folks. Going back to 2K19, folks. Going back to last season. And looks like the rivalry will be picking back up between Fred Star and his son. We will be catch, we will be looking into that match. For right now. Ladies and gentlemen. Coming to the arena, the one, the only, Katie Nevermore. The following folks. contest is an Extreme Rules match, making her way to the ring from Parts Unknown, the Enforcer. This Extreme Rules environment is so taxing on these superstars, Oh, this is one of the best interests I've seen, and Katie, part of the Suicide Club folks, making their date. Making her debut here in 2K20, folks, and I like the and I like the entrance she's coming in with, folks. Commanding the elements of fire and destruction. Well, I'm liking this. Uh, I'm liking this version of Katie Nevermore films. As part of the Suicide Club with Surrey films. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, Katie with her newfound. Can we say fire? Katie has come into her own in the Suicide Club, folks. Gonna, gonna be interested to see how she uh, pairs up in this, taking on a prominent position in the Suicide Club, folks. And here we go, folks. A quite the dramatic entrance for Katie Nevermore, folks. Yes, it is. I love it, Evie. I'm <laughs> not sure we want. <laughs> oh my God! Just just gave the cameraman a crop shot of her cookie. <laughs> Katie, a little bit of a Randy little uh, chit chit. Or that of the kick. Somebody, somebody called the kick. Someone have that cameraman arrested. <laughs> Trying to get a crotch shot of Katie. And ladies and gentlemen, making her way to the ring. The one, the only EBK Bloodyard, folks. Representing BYC, folks. Part of the Tag Team Champions of BYC, Vegas, folks. Nevada, the Queen. Still holding that invisible glass of Green Happy Juice. Can't get arrested for can't get arrested for drinking in public if you can't see what the person's drinking. Evie very crafty using her stealth 
green happy juice uh, bomb. And ladies and gentlemen, this the crazy banshee queen of the underground bloodyard making her way to the arena, folks. She's not impressed with what she's been able Evie to play, but Evie she's doing the running man and pointing at her, kind of mocking her opponent. Do, but she also has to be careful little, uh, not to become complacent. Little mind games there with Evie. The one thing about Evie, dope. She's a serious fighter here, not not just some party girl. And now going up is Katie. Katie looking at. Yeah, Evie both about the same size of weight now. Look back at a little, little foot sweep. Look at that now, ladies and gentlemen. Now picking Evie up and now taking Evie, walking, rolling into an inside cradle. What is that rip doing? Taking forever to count. Looks like we got a tricky set and a big. So now Evie going after Kenny. Oh, Impaler DDT by Evie. Now Evie going up and now getting kicked in the midsection. The water hooks up. Super now kicking Evie straight in her twerps. Now going after her. Now picking Evie up and now throwing Evie. Oh, with that sling and slice out of Evie getting to on one knee. Can Evie pull out a reversal? Close. That foot sweep. Out of nowhere, folks. Got to watch out for that foot sweep, folks. Now going in for a combo. Punching up, picking Evie up. And now, blowing her up for snake eyes. Going up and out. Oh, kicking Evie in back of the head. That's how you wear down your her up and now. Katie looking down the match now, slamming her head first. Never with that flatliner, picking her up, and now going for that. And now Evie putting the elbow to the face of Katie. Now Evie waking up, now going up, and now it's got Katie in, getting punched in the gut now. A little wrestle there now, oh, right into the knee. Nice transition for Evie, Evie rolling out of the way in this match. She's the ring. What's right there, and this is where it's dangerous. Right here, outside the ring, but now a big German suplex on Evie. Katie fired up, and now it's Evie in, in trouble here, here, folks. Now picking up another big suplex on Evie. On the, the lower back on Evie, being worked on by Katie. And now... Oh, tossing Evie face first into the, into the steel step. Getting Evie up and out. Kicking her up and out. Oh, my God. Getting her up and out. Yes. <laughs> and she's Going up and out. Going up here now. Katie. Outside the ring, waiting for Evie. I don't know why she went back inside the incredible. ring, maybe it's to get a little rest. In this arena tonight. Now going after Evie. Evie now punching it out. Evie coming back and now tossing Katie back in the ring. Now Katie can get back to one feet. Evie Great one -on -one trying to make her come back here now. Get much better than this. Going up here now, kicking Evie in the back of the head. Now getting up. Irish Open here, turn back on, like ladies and gentlemen. And going for the pin. One, two, and a big kick out at two. Now Katie uh, uh, admonishing the ref for the slow count. Going up. Going up and now going after Evie. Oh, gets her with that RKO off the top rope, folks. Going for the pin. Yeah, there's something wrong with the yeah, he... And then Gentleman, the winner of this match, Katie Nevermore.
joining us. There we go, and ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go on to another Extreme Rules match. Daniel Star versus Fred Star. I'm going to see something here. I think there's. Star versus Daniel Star, folks. I'm thinking that it, I want to see something here. I think there's something, uh, there's a glitch here. I want to see if the second, it seems like everyone in the first position is winning. So if you I want to see if we switch it around. Uh, I want to see if that's uh, still the trend. If you put them in the first slot and the person in the second slot loses. So I'm going to do some tests later on. off us see if that's what it is. But we're going to see right here Fred Star versus Daniel Star in Extreme Rules. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the rivalry. Fred Star is still mad at his son for not bringing the shovel on that camping trip out in the desert years ago, folks. And of course, we know what happened with that camping trip, but Fred and Daniel drove off arguing. Daniel Starr is still, still angry that his dad yelled at him like that. And Lee gentlemen come from Detroit, from Hell, Michigan. The one, the only Fred Starr. The following contest is an Extreme yard. Rules match. Oh, Making yes, and here we go, the folks. From Detroit, yes, Fred, Michigan. you're here in this match. Uh, in at 245 pounds. The player. Oh, yes, Fred Star. You get to see, and Fred Star, seeing your uh, call in action for the first time, and you're taking on your son. Yes, your son's still mad at, mad at, mad at you for yelling at him. For not bringing the shovel. Would you agree, yes, Corey, the rivalry this continues, folks. But easy and, for him. This is the WWE and Daniel Starr saying that he is the new superstar. You know that. that you're a falling star. He's a rising star. Ladies and gentlemen, Fred Star. He may be older, but don't count him out. And I think Fred Star is going to show little Danny Boy who his dad, who daddy really is. Gentlemen, Michigan, Daniel Sun, he says he is the Star Destroyer. The prototype. Yes, he says he is. He is the rise. He is the new star of the family, folks, and he's gonna put an end to his daddy's career. Yes, that's right. He's the Impact Killer, the Star Destroyer.
guys, you have to respect how much pride he has in what he does. I don't know, Michael. I I understand the actual story is saying that I must be silent but before my, before my be match, before when he enters, he folks. Be, but that's definitely how he comes across at times. I know, it looks a little tough when you turn those collars up, man. You look tough and healthy. It's going to be a, 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 a star battle of epic and force. Now Fred Star going after Daniel. Now picking Daniel up. And ladies and gentlemen, send Daniel down with a big suplex. And now punching him here, folks. Now picking him up. And now Fred Star going after Daniel. Daniel rolling that way, Kenny Mountain coming out with oh, a hurricane a Frankensteiner. And then gentlemen, as you say, he is the real star of the family. Going after him now, ladies and gentlemen, with that big uh, oh that big forearm by Fred Star coming back with a big kick to the gut. Going Daniel Star rolling out of the way. He's looking to bring this one to the outside where things can get. And now picking him up again with that Frankensteiner on. Oh, look at this. Without a doubt, uh -huh. this is a volatile situation, guys. WWE superstars are dangerous without and, weapons. Uh, Daniel needs to, like needs to go back to work on Fred, folks. And now a bitch slap. No respect here. Now slapping his daddy. A big chop there. And now Fred Star going old school with that discus uh, clothesline taken down. Daniel Star, folks. And now, oh my God, showing... Fred Star goes, you want to, I'll take your eye out. You want to be like daddy and miss an eye? Because Fred Star will, is not afraid to take out his own son's eye. And look at this, yelling at the, yelling at the Spanish announce team folks, telling them to get out of his way. Daniel Star taking Fred Star up and now, slams him down. With that backbreaker now picking him up. This could be it for Fred Star picking him up. Holy shit, double under. Oh my gosh, with that butterfly pile driver on Fred Star. Now Fred Star going control. out. Now he's got him up again. He's got him up. Holy shit. Oh, driver. oh that Michinoku driver straight down in the cranium of Fred Star. And now, oh, look at this, folks. He's picking it up. Holy shit, he's going after it. He's going to hit him with it. Oh, decides not to. I thought he's going to hit him with those steel steps. Picking him up. He's starting to struggle. A here. big flat liner. Rules matches are brutal and it's catching up with him. Oh my gosh, and now Fred Star in trouble here. He steps out of the way, Fred Star yeah, with a forearm to the back. A, a forearm or clothesline to the back of Daniel Star. Now Fred Star. Oh, look at this, folks. Stomping around the ring. Going back in the ring. Now these two going back in. Irish whip. And now bouncing off each other, slings him into the corner, just stalking him, and he gets smelled. And that, that fear of now Fred Star picking Daniel up. He's got a send out, boom, with that alley oop power bomb out of the corner. Fred Star's not done. He's gonna give his son a lesson in pain. Now looking for the right thing. Now pulls out Mike, pulls out the Yeti coccyx. Daniel Star pulling pulling the coccyx out of Fred's hands, and now. Try, Fred Star with a back fist to Daniel Star. Now, ooh. Yeah, that reverse DDT. Now, Fred Star putting that beat down. Saying that school's in session. Now, going after Daniel Star now. Punching punch him in the side of the jaw. Daniel Star is out on his feet. Now, picking him up. And now, Fred Star going for the bear hug. Oh my gosh, gonna give, come on, give daddy, gonna give his little boy a little hug. Daniel Starr, not, not the huggy type. Bill claps out of, out of the hole, ready with the clothesline, taking down Fred Starr. Daniel Starr picking him up, and now going out, oh, a big running knee strike on Fred Starr. Fred Starr's down, Daniel, turning this match around, now stomping him. And now going out, and now sitting down. Fred Star now, look at this, folks. Gonna take the Yeti Coxit. Oh my gosh, hits him in the Coxit. with the Coxit again. Striking him down. Oh my gosh, just hitting him right in the knee in the ball. Fred Star could be out, folks. Now going after him and now punching him. Now Fred Star with a punch to the jaw, a reversal. 
Now picking him up. He's got him up, folks. And now rolls it down. Sets him down with the rolling. Samoan drop. Forward Samoan drop. Now picking up. Oh, a little moonsault. On Fred starting. Now should have went for the pin there, but you don't want to keep Fred in the match. Now going at him. Nice combo there. With that axe kick over there. With Fritz with that DLT. Oh, and now going up. And now that pullback knee strike. Taking down Fritz are now going for the pin. This could be at one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Starr just took down Fred Starr, but this match is over. I mean, this rivalry isn't over. Now look at this. Saying that, saying that, saying that he he is the star destroyer, claiming that he just ended his dad's career, folks. He sent his dad in retirement. He's saying, but Fred Star is saying that it ain't over yet. There's gonna be a series of matches. I think the rivalry between those two are gonna get hot and heated. You know, Extreme Rules match. Here we go. We could have a ring break between Coagulated Fury and Jungle Boy Twink, folks. As we know that Jungle Boy Twink suffers from a narcolepsy and sometimes falls out of the tree, folks. When he when he finally falls asleep out of nowhere, also when he's swinging from vines, he he passes out. Hope everyone's having a wonder. And I always say. Well, you're gonna see a lot of oh, no ant ring it, just holy oh, shit. Chaos the best. There are no limits, and every resource is okay. So I thought I had this on. Oh, well, going up and now, Quagga Fury going after Jungle Boy to make it now, taking him down. Oh, it's not gonna be good. This is not gonna be as you can see. I had, I had to make repair. As you can see, I've been designing this. I designed this ring, Evie. Can you? <laughs> As a, oh, 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 that'll make your legs numb. Yes, this is one of my custom uh, design oh, rings. I, I hope you like the duct tape, the uh, the brown paper bag, the, you know, the cardboard. My, down with authority. Now he's been put on the defense. I'm quite the ring designer. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. If you ask me, guys, matches now going like this up. where there are essentially no rules are one giant Now putting free the foots all, down on, absolutely on Jungle Boy happen. Twink, folks. Jungle Boy Twink now. Ooh, he he adopted son of Yeah, let's hope he can keep this of, kind of effort going. Queef and George Takai, folks. And this has got to hurt. As you can see that Jungle Boy Twink did not use any some son of... Sunscreen. When he's out there in the jungle, like he's got a severe sunburn. It's one giant free for all, and while it's exciting to watch, it, so the, it's so those strikes to the to the body star. must hurt, it folks. Cold, you ever had a, you like ever, this usually result in injury, sometimes serious. Now injury. going up here now, oh, kicking again. him and Twink trying to make a comeback. Irish whip to the turnbuckle, and now a big punch to the face, folks. 
staring him off and now Jungle Boy Twink going up. Oh, give him a little beauty treatment, trying to shake off that fury face, folks. We all want to get rid of that coagulated fury face, man. There we go. And now he's stomping. Now going up. Now get, gets muscled down by coagulated fury. How does coagulated fury keep going, folks? Now, head with the head crank. Trying to twist off the head, trying to remove it from the from the spine. Switch. Now going up with that big oh gets him up, and now he's got that jagged slayer. He's got it locked in. Is he gonna tap? Does he have enough in him to break out of the hold? And now he breaks out of it. Breaks away free, and, and now fireman's carry. Going back over, can Twink turn it around? Picks him up and now brings him off his feet. Takes him up over, folks. And now punching him, trying to make him come back here. Big chop, chopping him, chopping him in half. He's chop welcome to Chop City too. And now still still punching him and quagulate fury. Counter with the big um, fall away slam as I call it. Going after him. Boom. Now putting the boots to him. Oh, now stomping him. Stomping down. Ah, look at this. Going up Big and now putting breaker. his shoulder down. And now taking him down. He's got it, folks. Fury. Smells the blood. Gonna oh. take down Twink, but Twink takes him up and pulls him by the ears, folks. And now, oh, uh, with a nice nightmare executed. going straight up, and now, trying to call him whatever fans there are, folks, in this crowd. Because nobody really wanted to see this dark match. I'm Long just kidding, folks, going up. And now, holy shit, drop, just a leg drop guillotine on the, on the rope, folks. Rolling it up, and now kicking him straight in the back. Fury is down, folks. Getting back up and now getting stomped on like a wet piece of caca on a Sunday afternoon. Now putting it down. Now cranking the arm out. He's got it set. Oh my gosh. No. Oh, oh man, that claw to the shoulder just work. Just putting the pain down. Monkey, Monkey flip. flip. Still working on that on that right shoulder. Quagulate Fury misses with the knee drop as Quagulate Fury is. Laid out, folks. Now a big chop. You can hear it. Now going through the window. Big. Now kicking him on the ground. Now, now in a great offense. And now, just like that, the match has turned around. Going up and now, picking him up, trying for that. Oh, oh, got that brain buster, straight on to. Quick. On uh, Jungle Boy Twink. And here we go. Going for the pin. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match is Coagulated Fury, folks. Congratulations. Gentlemen, let's go on to our next match. Hope everyone's having a wonderful evening, morning, or and I'll always say that because I sincerely mean it. Let's go to a little table match. Extreme Rules match.
and she would, and it'll be meanie taking on Raven, folks. Sorry, I got, sorry, I got stuck up and who was I gonna? And here we go, folks. Mini G Marbles versus Raven the Enchanted, an Extreme Rules match, and the rivalry between these two are started last year and still going on. Gonna be an interesting matchup to see how how these two go at it with this rivalry, folks. Mini, of course, saying that she has unlimited championship shots because she is somebody's lover in the butt. Not me. I'm not saying nothing. Uh, no. That doesn't happen. So anyways, folks. We will be going into universe mode. Hopefully. Uh, no glitch. No. Uh, hopefully it doesn't break down. Because I've heard that if you go universe mode. It could wipe out your whole game. So. I'm hoping. That the patches fix this. But luckily, I do have a backup on my game. I did back up my game. The following and contest Jones, is a free the Queen of Me. The one, way to the, the ring only. From Las Vegas, Nevada. Big the one, the only. Mini G Marvels, folks. To you, this one will not be for the weak of heart. And if this match is anything like the Extreme Rules matches of the. And they jump when we're doing a couple more matches, and we'll be saying good night, folks. And I'm required by Mini not to say anything during her match. Every time she steps into the ring. Hey, good for Don't know her, why though, that is. I will tell you that she says that. Are mistaking that she says that. My bad. My 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 cheesy rhyming is bad. Bad luck for her matches. And leans down, making her way to the ring. The one, the only Raven, the Enchanted. And from parts unknown. The atmosphere surrounding us for this extreme rules match is so intense right now, So now I have to see that I didn't make Rooney to to uh, Meanie's moves. That Meanie said that she just she just wanted to super duper super duper model martial arts training and is ready to fight. And that any of her losses don't count because she was and not ready. Go a long way in which so now she's saying she is undefeated, claiming that, that she is undefeated in the undergrad this season. Well, and if I say otherwise, she will make she will make lawsuit to me. Not sure what. The, not sure if you I can take that back. You did lose a couple of times. And now these two going at it now. Raven whips Meanie into the turnbuckle. And now Raven. Now Meanie reversed a big flatliner. And now kicking Raven the right square in the back. Now ooh, multiple kicks. Holy shit, just stop it. Put the beat down for Raven. And now stomping her. You see the viciousness of Meanie Marbles. And you know why they call him now kicking her. That multiple boots just working on the head of Raven. Oh, a, a spinning heel kick now rolling over, kipping up. And now you can see she's on fire. And now driving those elbows in. Holy oh, shit, Raven is in trouble, folks. Got to somehow make a comeback here as Meanie is just... Taken. Raven's task. Raven pushes the foot out of the way. Now going up, picking Meanie up. Meanie reverses. Pushes Raven off. Oh, a super a step up Superman punch straight to the straight to the jaw. Raven now stomping at Meanie. Going up. And now again trying to knock her out, folks. And now going up. Now, oh, going for those big chops on Raven. Caught, caught Mini off guard. Saw her, saw an advantage there, and took and took it. But Mini with that step up Superman punch. Oh shit, going up, and now going after Raven. Now throwing Raven straight in the match. Still working on the head of Raven. A lot of head shots, trying to concuss Raven. 
And now tossing her to the arena floor like a wet rag doll. Going back up and what does Mimi have planned? In matches this, like this, guys, you learn very quickly which superstars have what it takes to truly now, get extreme. Now going back up and now going after Raven. Now Raven smartly going back in the ring. Now Meanie's jumping back up, pulling Raven up, and now it's got her up. Holy shit, it's got Raven. What's she got planned? She's got it locked in. And Raven fighting her way out, folks, punching her from the side temple, flying floor, taking down Meanie, trying to turn the tide out. Raven's had enough, folks, going for a little persuader, a little help, bringing in the steel chair, Meanie going after her. Now, Meanie's straight on the head with that steel chair. She's not done yet. Raven putting, propping, that, propping that steel chair in the corner, looking to send Meanie through it. But that could be. And look at this. Sends her head first in that steel chair. Raven's had enough, finally, in this match. And then dropping the big leg on Meanie. Could have turned this match around, folks. Meanie rolling out of the way, picking her up. And look at this. Spinning pile, spinning pile driver, holy shit. And this could be it, but now, Meany looking to dish out more pain. Been working on the head of Raven. Now picking Raven up, holy shit, it's got Raven up. Oh, it's got her, got that sleeper hold back again. Raven, not gonna tap out. Punching Meany on the side of the head. Meany sent back, Raven with that flying knee. Going up, and now Raven. Looking to take out another weapon. Now, decides that she doesn't need a weapon. And now, a basement DDT. I would have went for the pin. Raven, looking for a weapon. Picks up the chair. Comes running to the ring with the chair, but this could backfire on her. Meanie, kicking that chair in on Raven. Now, giving, giving some kicks and now driving the shoulders in. Now, kicking in there now. Putting the boots down on Raven. Raven. Getting out of the way takes her down with a little short spear. Now Mini in trouble. Now this match is probably at even now. Her Karana by Raven on Mini. Mini is sent real. Oh, a big punch there. Think she knocked Mini out. Now going to work on, on, the, on that leg with that stump board. Stomping her up, picking her up, and now going after her. Now picking her down, Meany with a reversal. Oh my God, that insecurity on the side of Raven. Should have went for the dragon. Her could be going for the pin here. Raven could be out. No, Meany looking to do a little more damage. And now picking her up, and he's she's got her up. Got her up, that rolling. She's got Canadian back. There we go. One. Two, and a, almost a three count. Now going up and now Raven in trouble with Meany. Meany looking to finish the matchup. Got her up a little pump handles. Oh no, pump handles. Oh my God. That's it, folks. That's got to be a one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, Meany G. Marvel with the win. Oh, look right That's there, that little mission. rolling kick. Oh, right there, I thought it was over, but right here. That has picked her up and now with the pin here, folks. And ladies and gentlemen. Here is your winner, Big Meanie. Big win over some very tough competition. If the other women knew what's good for them, they'll steer clear of this one. As we close the book on this match, I need to remind everybody just how big of a Oh, look at that look on Meanie. Amazing. And look at this. Very confident, very arrogant. Saying she didn't even smear her lipstick. Beating up Raven, folks. Oh, my God. That. And congratulations to Meanie Marbles.
got Nurse Evie. Gonna be taken on. Waffalina Blue, folks, yes. We got a cure for a lot of Waffalina Blue. We hopefully. It's Nurse Evie, folks. Nurse Evie to set the cure down. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, we have more Star Sibiu in the net in tomorrow. In, um, the next and tomorrow uh, tonight's show or tomorrow's show folks we always do uh, two shows a week folks and ladies and gentlemen we're still going to continue with 2k20 despite despite that it's glitcher it's glitch up media here in 2k20 the glitchiest the bitchiest game I have seen in a long time but we're going to continue with why because I spent money on it Actually, I'm actually having kind of fun with it, folks. From Las Vegas, Nevada. Yes, you heard there was a blue waffle roaming around the circus, and she's out to be the cure for us. It's also my perviness to see Evie again. And she's obviously proud of what she's been able to accomplish over the course of her careers. Well, she should be. I can respect that, Michael. Well, she clearly has worked hard to get where she is, but she also has to remember that she has a long way to go. And from New York, the Queen! Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one oh action. Oh my god, and ladies and gentlemen, like I'm glad I didn't eat any. I just lost my appetite, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, La Wafalina Blue. She says she's the living blue waffle. Guys, I don't recall the last time I saw these women. Evie got the out of the ring. I don't blame her. Right now. Who'd want to get close to the match, Cole? To expect anything less from these women here tonight would be Who'd want to get in the ring with a blue waffle, folks? Now, uh, Evie. Point of end. Look at that face. Oh, that's a face a mother couldn't love either. No, no, going no, after no, it now, Waffle Man. We're putting the boots on now, Evie. Going after Waffle Man of Blue. Picking up Nurse Evie. Now drops her TV down on the top rope. And now a blank choke by Waffle Man of Blue. Going up. Harsh impact. Punching her CV down. And now going for that big hug. Can Evie fight her way out? And now Evie putting. Putting. Putting, putting the elbows now a big bell clap on Waffling Blue. Evie with that big clothesline from Hell Tether on Waffling Blue. Now putting the boots to her. Waffling Blue in trouble now. Driving down the knee into Waffling Blue. Picking Waffling Blue up and now Evie going after her. Going after her. This is an extreme rules now. Going after her. Pushing her up, and now a big chop, taking her down. Big boots of Waffling the Blue, putting the boots down to her. Now stomping her. Now going after her, folks. Holy shit. Boom. Going after her now, Nurse Evie. Going after her now, changing her now, tossing her down like a circus clown. Now spitting out the, spitting out the, spitting out the blood. I don't know what that is, but that red mist. Taking over the match now. Taking her down. Oh, bringing her in the hard way. Going to work here now, Evie. Going to work on the blue waffle. Picking her up. Oh, random headbutt. Just going crazy. And now Evie. 
with that pop up for Karana down on the top of the dropping her down. Getting her up. And ladies and gentlemen, this could be dangerous. Picking her up. Oh, just dropped her head first, folks. Getting her down. And now punching her. And now Evie looking to bring the hammer down. The aggressiveness of Nurse Evie. Folks. Seems like she, Evie does a lot like the blue waffle. No one likes the blue waffle. Just stomping her. Man, she really knows how to handle and again, oh, putting that, putting the axe out of putting that, giving her a little ha hammer time. Off in the blue in trouble now, Evie. Gonna pick her up. The strength of Evie Bloodyard. She's got her up. Got her with that Mr. Nuka driver. Now, here we go for that brain buster. Two. And almost a three count. Where's Evie? Frustrated. What does she have to do to get rid of the blue wall? Got, picks up the law for you in the blue. Got her up, and she's got her up in the koala hug. Is she gonna tap out? Evie's got it locked in. Oh my gosh. And ladies and gentlemen, with the submission on Waffle in the Blue with the koala hug, Evie not letting go. Drops the blue waffle. The winner of this match is Nurse Evie. That match is worth another look. Here we go. Very dominant in this match is Nurse Evie. Congratulations to Evie K. Bloodyard, folks. And look at that. Right there. Just got her with that koala hug, folks. And she's not, she's not over, it's not over with yet, folks. Coming in. And no, the ref does not want anything to do with the... With the uh, Dongzilla folks, Evie with that big, with that big uh, boa constrictor, and congratulations to Nurse Evie. And we're going on for a couple more, for a couple more matches. Then I'm saying nighty night. We're gonna go extreme rules. Taquito, that's the one we needed. We haven't seen. El Taquito will be taken on. Mean Joey Green. Taquito versus me, Joey Green, folks. Gonna be a great matchup with these two, and ladies and gentlemen, we have we have quite the uh, show going on tomorrow uh, on our next show, folks. You're gonna see Flowerboy Manqueef. You're gonna see them all, folks. All the Bingo Hall dolls, whoever we have on the roster, they're coming right at you, folks. And hard hitting action here in the Underground Circus, folks. We're gonna have a blood, uh, we're gonna have a blood fest, a slobber knocker. A circus of beatdowns. That's what we call it here at Underground Circus. And I hope each and every one of you come and see the next show, folks. Maybe debuting some new stars. Who knows? It's always hot and heavy here in the Underground Circus. I am your host, Wild Ed Yeti. And we are here in my budget arena, folks. Here having a few dark matches before we start the full season. And then Grand Bugger and Lee Gentleman. The, the one, following contest the only. is an extreme rules match. Making his way to the ring from Gomez Palacio Durango, Mexico. 
weighing in at 315 pounds, El Guapo. Yes, Kiwi Morales. We have one on one action on the way, and this one should be nothing short of amazing. I don't doubt that for a moment, Michael. In fact, I would go so far as to say this match might just steal the show. Here we go, folks. The one, the only, mean Joey Green, folks. What the heck? I thought I fixed that. I fixed that last time. Uh, looks like I'm going to have to fix those images again. Looks like that and update made ruining to my, New to, New Jersey. To my images. In at 440 pounds, mean Joey Green. Here we go, guys. Anything goes in this Extreme Rules match. You might want to put Grandma So it looks like they broke a few more things here. Because uh, because when I fixed it before the patch, um, the symbol, little symbol, little emoji symbol on Joey's back uh, was there. So here we go. Breaking it again. Let's see if I can fix it. Um. Later on, maybe it'll come back on, maybe it won't. I'd say that he's among the most prideful superstars on the roster today. Well, when you accomplish what he's been able to accomplish, Michael, you have every right to be proud have of a wonderful evening, morning, whatever side of the road, whatever side of the world you're on. I'm going to try something and see if it'll make the, um, see if it'll, see if it'll go through, folks. We got Joey Green. Taking on El Taquito, folks. And El Taquito with the, with the hurricane on Joey Green, kicking Joey Green straight in the, the face. A little dirty action there as he just dropped two feet to the ball. Joey coming back, catching El Taquito. Look at this little sling blade on, on El Taquito, folks. El Taquito putting the beats to him. Driving the knee to the back of Salta Quito. Now picking him up. And then, oh, got to Misses with that hurt. Misses the, steps out of with that kid, Sasha. Now, another takedown. Joey is broken open already. And now, just like this, Joey is bleeding, folks. The blood trickling down from him. From him now. Again. With that Orcarana on Joey. And Joey sent real folks now. Working on that head. That thick noggin of Joey Green, folks. Joey Green. The step over heel kick. And now going after him. And now here we go, folks. Picking him up. Oh, got him with that big suplex. Now going in for a weapon, folks, and you know Joey Green grabbing the Yeti Coxes. They get kicked. They get kicked in the leg bait, uh, by El Taquito, making him to, making him to drop, drop, uh, drop the Coxes. Right? Going after Joey now, Joey, that big discus punch, and hit Joey getting fired up. Now this is that big chop. Oh, you could hear that from the, from the nosebleed seat. Now Joey trying to break open El Taquito, trying to back the hard shell. Now punch him. Oh my gosh. Somebody call a medic because I think El Taquito is out, folks. Now Joey just playing with playing with his opponent now. Has a firm advantage here. Gonna pick him up. He's struggling a bit here. Extreme rules matches are brutal, and it's catching yes, up. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Joey's slamming him up, and I'm surprised Joey didn't grab that cock. And look at this. No Joey oh, got caught in a little run. strategy there by and El Taquito. He rolled out of the way and caught him with that with that Huracarana, folks. Now going up and now taking the knee out of Joey Green, folks. Look at
look at the equalizer, the match now, picking it up. And they jump it, driving that sledgehammer to the back of Joey Green, driving it again. Oh my gosh, working on it, and they jump it. No taking out Luke Harper. Holy shit, folks. Now tossing Harper into the ring, folks. Harper in trouble, folks. Joey going. And now going after him now, El Taquito. Not going to accept any interruption in his match as he's beating up Joey Green now. Oh my god, just driving him. Holy shit. Somebody call security, I think. Harper just killed uh, El Taquito with those, with, those face, with those knees to the face, folks. Now toss him back in the ring. Now Joey just playing with him. We got, we got the coccyx. We got the sledgehammer out there laid out. Now Joey going back to work on El Taquito. I think it's over, folks. But El Taquito, on back elbow, into a uh, Herkarana, taking down Joey Green now, going back to work on Joey Green, telling Joey to get back in the match, waiting for him, laying away Joey. Down on his knees, folks, getting back up, going to come to the ring. And look at this, trying to take Joey out. Oh, my God, waited for Joey to get back out in the ring and use that sledgehammer. Now drive, driving that knee again. With that knee, working the knee, folks. I think that knee, I think that leg is destroyed, folks. Oh, again. Joey has bust open one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to El Taquito taking out Joey Green. I don't think Joey Green, Green overlooked the little guy. Sometimes a little overconfidence can be your downfall, folks. And your winner, folks, the one, the only. Yes, congratulations to El Taquito, folks. Impressive. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'd be, I'd be very, um, I'd take this guy seriously next time you see him in the ring, folks. He just took out one big, one of the biggest heavy hitters here in the underground circus, the one, the only, mean Joey Green, folks, going to a more extreme rules match. More custom superstars, and I believe this. And let's see here. We got to go. Let's see who we're going to pick for our last match. We need a big heavy hitting match. Let's see what we can do. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see who we can get here in this matchup. Oh, I know who we got. I think I know who I want to do. gentlemen I believe he caught I believe this is Kevin Bacon I don't know how we got bacon how we got Kevin Bacon in my arena but he's calling himself the harbinger and he'll be taking on someone we haven't oh here's someone we haven't seen
and gentlemen, we got the Harbinger versus Guy Espinaca. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this guy, he is like the Mexican Popeye, folks, the luchador Popeye. He drinks his spinach juice, and he gets his power to beat up all the cabrones, as he says. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Harbinger coming from the wasteland, folks. Looks a little foot loose. Might be, might have a little tremors. Here Ladies and gentlemen, here my special arena here, folks. Going up, up and now, Kevin Bacon taking Guy Espinosa tossed like that. and really tossed him like a pancake, folks. Now, Kevin Bacon going after Espinosa and now going for now a kick to the knee. Another oh, kick to the right. groin. Don't Holy shit, Fred. Call that. the match. Oh, wait. An extreme rules match. Anything counts, folks. I don't know how Espinosa could be still standing after him. Oh, oh, my Two gosh. With that Manuku driver putting down Kevin Bacon, folks. And, oh, my gosh. The Harbors are in trouble here, folks, from Guy Espinosa picking him up, he folks. Looks like he's taking one. the Spanish. But here he's got him, folks. Oh, able to counter. Driving him up and now and taking him down. Nicely done. Now putting the putting the boots to him. Oh, looks like he's putting that shoulder claw on him. Gonna give him, gonna give Espinaca some. Oh, yeah, he's gonna give him some tremors. Oh, he could feel the tremors there. Maybe a few Red holes in one. Not Only a one yet. count. But the harbinger like going to work, putting his boots down. When it comes to offense, the oh, dude, Espinata now, a He's big double close joint. Already. You gotta you watch out for that, here, folks. Right there, that double act, those double, those double act, that double axe no, handle. Now putting the knee down. And look at this, folks. Oh, oh, oh. He got him straight. Got him straight in the back with that claw now stomping on and the harbinger getting back to a vertical base, getting this picked up. up getting and the little snake eyes by drop. Guy Espinaca, Espinaca folks. Esp Espinaca going after and oh now my. punching him. A big clothesline taking him down. Up and oh, that drop. diving fist drop. Just dro driving when I think he's concussed, folks. And now... Looking up and now doesn't net. feel he a little foot loose here, forward. folks. Yeah, he's operating at a level. Picking can up and now can Espinaka finish Big off punch, the harbinger, Boom, folks. Now slapping off. him. Now Kevin Bacon getting back up and now kicking him up. Step over. This is gonna be bad. Oh, he just lighted down there, folks. I would went for the pin right there, folks. Boom, but now looking to dish out more he's punishment, in folks. Control now. Oh my god, gut belly. Oh, he's got that that back belly bomb on uh, on uh, on Kevin Bacon now pushing him down, kicking him up. Now falling right outside the ring. And now here we go, folks. A little reversal there. Could could have been a mistake by Espinaca to take this. another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Now tossing him around the arena floor, folks. Going here for us now. Oh, drives him straight into those steel steps, folks. He could hear his shoulder just crack when he hit that steel. The steel steps, folks. Scoop. Now picking him up, scooping him up. Power slam. Into a power slam. Holy shit, folks. That could have just broke him in half, folks. Now picking him up. A double. DDT. And a... A double underhook butterfly DDT applied to Espinaca. Espinaca is just is just being destroyed outside this ring, folks. It's almost oh, like a mugget. Oh, that clothesline just almost took the head off of Espinaca. Now just tossed him down to the ground. And look at this, celebrating like he's nothing. We're seeing two outstanding athletes looking to prove their dominance in there. But only one can and like I said, I like that. It's not torture it if you're paying for it. And it looks like Espinaca is paying for it right now. Wow, what impact! And that gut wrench, that suplex, just sent him on that concrete arena float, floor. And now, 
going after. Oh, yes, folks. The WWE Universe is coming unglued. Oh, look at this, folks. Fever pitch here. And he's got it up, folks. Another gut wrench. Oh, again. A gut wrench suplex. And I don't know how much more Espinaca can take, folks. He's going to need some spinach, some spinach juice, whatever it takes to get him back in this match as, as the Harvards are. Just sending a message to everybody here in the underground circus that their fate will be sealed by by defeat. What happened now? Can Espinaka turn this around? He's got him up. Oh my gosh, a big gut buster! Trying to break the ribs of Espinaka, trying to take out those luchadores. Those. That luchador moves, those high flying moves. Driver, and old school him. pile driver. The close of this match is just ahead. You'll think twice before They need to get this action back match. in the ring, folks. Espinaka. I'm trying to trying to get back into the ring, folks, but trying to get back in this match, but to no avail. And look at this. Just gloating, just taunting Espinaka oh, now. A big forearm, folks. Bring now toss him back the in the ring, folks. Espinak is in trouble, folks. As you see, my custom designed ring right here, folks. Yes. Looking stunned, looking rocked. And, little, and look at this. Now look at this, folks. The action. And oh, the no. momentum going back in Espinaka's way, folks. He's standing there too long, Whoa, needs to grab him, but gets, so a, gets, a foot, gets a foot to the face, folks. Now, continue taking the momentum of this match back in it in his in his favor, folks. Going up, oh, drops that big, neat, that big leg drop. Holy shit, folks! He's charged up, folks. He's energized, folks. Espinaka's in trouble, folks. As you see, the harbinger is powered up, folks. Oh my gosh, with that not, that big rushing strike, folks. Those combos. Is taking out Espinaka, folks. Not done yet, folks. Picking him up, and now Esp there. going oh, up. That big air. flying crossbody check oh, taken down. Counter. Espinaka, yes. And here we go, folks. He's got him up. The match is back in Espinaka's play. I wouldn't have took him out there. Very Interesting game he is Manasa going back out there. He doesn't. He didn't fare too well the last time what he was in the, outside the match. Ouch. Oh, that clothesline right just broke. He just broke him in half. Like this. Ooh, oh, again, running across, but putting the beat down, running those knees into him. Espinaka must have just drank his spinach juice or something, because now. He's got control of those mats, oh, but the coming. Harbinger, Kevin Bacon, coming up. Launched with a belly to belly. And did a belly to belly and dropped a big elbow drop onto Espinaka. This, he could be hit. Mr. Spinach could be finished. Oh, what impact. Oh, but turns around and slams him straight into that steel pose, folks. Oh, these two. It's not going to be hard to tell. It's going to really be hard to tell who's going to win this match, folks. These two are just Big killing each other. Line. Coming Good with a running clothesline, taking it, taking his, um, taking him out, folks. Got this him could up. be huge. And here we go, folks. Death Valley bomb. A Death Valley bomb, but it didn't seem to affect uh, the Harbinger, folks. And the Harbinger taking Espinaka and throwing him straight into the steel ch steps. Now. Tossing him back of the ring, going could be ending the match now, folks. He's got him lined up. But, but Irish whip in, into the turnbuckle. Espinaka looking to finish this off, folks. Oh, no, looking to turn this around. Guys. He's got a set up, folks. He's got a locked up. Like, uh, this doesn't look good, folks. This could Maybe be a superplex right, right here, folks. Here, here it go. goes, folks. A big superplex. Oh, superplex. oh now he's got it in. He's not done yet. Falcon arrow. Right into a falcon arrow, folks. 
needs to go in for the pin, but doesn't go in down. Takes him down with, with a shoulder tackle. Quite the devastating move, but somehow the harbor of Kevin Bacon pulls out a gut red suplex, folks. I toss him over the rope now. Tell him to get back in the ring. Oh, he's gonna bring. Oh, gets gets gouged in the eyes, folks, and it almost knocked him out, folks. Now look. Now taking advantage of the cheap shot, tossing him over like a wet sock monkey on an afternoon when they're washing their underpants. Now, now cheer, now just be cheering for, cheering to the. I don't know what's going on here, now, mind, folks. Takes down the clothesline. He's got him, folks, and now he's got him picked up and got him up by the seat of pants. Another pile driver, folks. On that concrete floor, how much more can Espinaca take, folks? Oh, what a forearm! Turning the a momentum big forearm, folks, and this match on just keeps hurry. going on. And I'm saying the longer this match goes on, the, the more favorites for the Harbinger. The Harbinger is quite putting the beat down on Espinaca, but Espinaca has put in a valiant fight here. And now, look at this, folks. He's got it, folks. That oh, mandible claw mandible sticking those spike death. This, could be, this, this could, could be it. He's got to tap out, folks. He can't stand anymore. He's been working on the head. I don't know if Espinaca can, Interesting decision can do here, that. Corey. I don't know. But, I kind of like it. He clearly wants to inflict some more punishment. Oh, here he goes again. Another mandible oh, claw. It's got to be over, folks. You can't take that many, folks. Those long... Those long, sharp razor fingers down the throat of Espin Espinaca, folks. Holy shit. He made him tap out, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Harbinger. He got him to tap out. Yes, he got him to tap out. What a beat down. That was, folks. One final match. And we will call it the evening, folks. Hope everyone is having a great evening, morning, or wherever side of the world you're on, folks. We're going to do another Extreme Rules match. And our final match be minor, Mighty Minerva versus Sens Washa. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, these two women go at it, folks. It's going to be quite the show here, folks. I, and it'll be our final match of the evening. And we will continue on later on today or tomorrow, folks, with our second show, folks, because we do our shows in the wee hours of the morning, folks. Now we have no entrances, folks. We're straight at it now. Sends Washa going after Minerva. Minerva can't with the, with the snapmare. Oh my gosh, I've never seen Sends Washa start a match this fast. Didn't know that for a big lady that Sends Washa had the speed on her. A big power slam on Minerva. Minerva. Caught Minerva off guard. Minerva didn't know what was coming. Going after a big chop. 
putting well, this, putting she's the, just dominant right now. Putting that she's beat down on Minerva. But she better make sure she saves something for later. Yes, and now picking her up and now chopping her down. Holy shit. Minerva being beat like a rag doll by Senswasha. Now Senswasha going up. And look at this. Back kick. With that little back kick. Minerva needs Minerva needs to get in this match, but, but putting down the beat down on Minerva, not letting Minerva get, catch it, catch her breath, folks. No disqualifications and no and here we go. A, is a big backbreaker. Now Minerva getting back up, taking picking Sunswasser by the braid. Now, impact. oh, with a nice neck breaker, driving that knee to the back of Sunswasser now. Turn to the tide opponent. of the match is Minerva. Minerva, Minerva finally getting getting her bearings in this match after that that brutal under the ring. barrage by Senswasha. If you can think about it, it's probably now, under there. Now, now the momentum case, swinging in Minerva's favor, it, but just like that, Senswasha taking her down and pancakes her down. And now a little spinner Rooney reminiscent for. of the one the only book of tea getting back up and now. Picks oh, no. Minerva up. Oh, and puts her straight down on, on onto the mat. Now, drops the big drop. elbow. Piercing. You're looking at about 600 pounds of of since Washa falling down on your chest, folks. Now going after. Leg lariat with the arm wrench. And Very look nice. at that A little leg lariat too. Minerva, Minerva. Reversing. Great match here, but if you missed any of the action from this week, and just now go picking to her up. WWE and there we go, Minerva. YouTube beats a Baron on the chest, just beating down, trying to beat the airway, trying to beat the breath out of Senswasha. You can hear, just hear oh, that, Clement Florence. And now Senswasha falls Leave flat the here. May change the entire onto the arena floor from match. the ring apron. Boom, right now, to the oh, show. look at this. You can pick up your seat in Got that uppercut on Senswasha to send. send since Washa reeling. That is a great now, reversal. Trying to kick her now, Dragon Lake takedown. Bye. Since Washa. Since Washa working Minerva over. Got Minerva and now back tossed in Minerva floor. back into the ring. The action continues. Now following through is Minerva. Another I amazing mean, singles is, contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE universe. A big the back body drop. Now. now going tough, after this now Minerva with the, the Frankensteiner. Taken down the much larger since Washa. Uh, just chopped her, but chest. it seems to waken up since Washa. That little back kick taken down. Minerva. Minerva slowly getting back up. Keep Holy shit. On this one. Oh my gosh, this is going to break the ring. Is since Washa going to do it? She's got to do it. Double axe Double handle. handle. Just splitting. Minerva and two folks. It's I I don't see how Minerva is still standing now. Sends Washa just caught being cocky, letting Minerva get back in the ring. Now inside cradle. One, One two. two. What is keeping this competitor going? She just will not go Just away. kicked it. Just kicked right out of two. She's in Sends Washa being a little sneaky here, picking her up, and look at this. The strength of Sends Washa. You guys believe the power? Oh, that military press slam. And now going up, folks. Oh, she's not going to do it, folks. She dropped it. Oh, I guess a rolling senton. Put the ass down on Minerva. This could be it. Oh, kicks out two and a half. Now sends Washa yelling at the ref for that slow count. Minerva still can be in this. She can still turn this around. But sends Washa going up. That big ass kick right to the back of the head. Man. That's it. This could be it, folks. Here we go. A little slow to look at one, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match is sends Washa B Wall. And congratulations to sends Washa for that match. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end it here, and we're going to continue on later on today uh, with our second show, folks. As always, it's an exciting show, and I want to thank each and every one for coming to my show. We have a little fun here. 
We poke fun of each other. Never, it's never done in, uh, to be mean. It's just how we are, folks. And I hope, uh, hope everybody is having a wonderful evening uh, and a wonderful week, folks. Like I said, I do this show for fun, and it's not intended for children, folks. So if you're thir if you're 13 and under, you, this show is not meant for you. The content is purely for for adults, folks. When I do this show, so just doing that little disclaimer. But also, I want to thank each and every one of my friends and everybody that watches and enjoys this show. Evie, Meanie, and myself, thank you because we and our creator thanks you, the guy that. Thank you for coming to our show. So I want to thank everybody that's watched me for the past few years do this uh, little insanity. It's a little as I do it. I do it as uh, as for fun for everyone to enjoy. It's I don't plan on making any money. I'm not gonna be I'm not looking to, for any notoriety or anything. It's just for everyone to come here, ha joke around, and you know, and it, and have fun while. Doing a few while doing some wrestling, folks, and that's all it's about. I don't think I'm any better than anybody. I'm not popular than anybody. Not looking for that. Just looking for people that just want to have fun and not take themselves too seriously. Well, I take myself seriously because I am an international star. No, actually, folks. Anyways, folks, hope you all have a great week. I'll catch you in a, in approximately 10 hours, 12 hours from now. Who knows when we do our next, when, whenever I start the next show, folks, it's always a fun, it's always fun to have you guys around. So I'm going to quit, I'm going to quit, quit talking. I'm going to thank you all. Thank you so much for joining the Underground Circus, folks. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the Underground Circus. I am Wild Eyed Yeti, and I will catch you on our next show. Peace out.